1 Thessalonians 5.16 says, Rejoice always. Most students of the Bible know that Jesus wept is the shortest verse in the Bible, John 11.35. But 1 Thessalonians 5.16 is a close second, Rejoice always. These two word verses pack in so much. When we're told that Jesus wept, we see his compassion. We see his passion for Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, who had just died. He was at the gravesite of Lazarus when we're told that he, Jesus wept. But we also see that maybe he wept because death was not part of the plan. Death was an invader to this world, and Jesus came to overcome death, to overturn death and overcome the grave, so that we can rejoice always. Now, is it realistic to say that we should be happy all the time? No, of course not, because we're not happy all the time. Happiness is an emotion, just like anger or sadness, and we're neither of those things all the time either. But we can rejoice always, because that's a condition of the heart. We are saved by the blood of Jesus, who came at Christmas so we can rejoice. We may not always be happy, but we will be joyful because we're going to go to heaven. And in the meantime, we should tell other people the good news about Jesus as well. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, help us to rejoice always, to always be joyful, to have joy all the time by the power of your Holy Spirit working through the means of grace. Thank you for sending Jesus the first time at Christmas and help us to prepare for his second coming joyfully. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School in Hawthorne Woods. Thanks for joining me for the daily devotions. Join us for worship Wednesday evening this week, and we will have a worship service at 7 o'clock with a dinner at 5.30. On December the 23rd, we have our Saturday service at 5.30 in the afternoon. Christmas Eve morning, just one service at 9.30, and then Christmas Eve afternoon, 2, 4, and 6, we have family Christmas Eve worship. And then at 11 o'clock on Christmas Eve, candlelight worship. And then Christmas Day, you can come and join the family. Bring your family to join our family and worship the newborn king at 10 a.m. Thanks for joining me for the daily devotions. I pray that God will richly bless you. Join us again next time.